Hey guys, it's Tyler from Tennis with Tyler. Guys, today we are going to be going over how to feed balls. I've been getting a ton of requests on Instagram, on YouTube, asking, hey Tyler, can you do a video on how to feed balls? So here we are, okay? So the first thing that I'm gonna tell you guys, when you guys wanna feed balls, you don't want to add spin. You guys wanna make sure when you feed, hey, how you doing? Oh shoot, good, good, good. When you feed, right, when you guys feed, you wanna make sure that you can see the logo on the ball every single time, okay? If the ball's spinning and you can't see that logo, you did not feed the right way, okay? So number one, you wanna make sure that your strings are forward every single time that you feed. Too many players, when they feed the balls, they start turning their wrists, that's gonna to create top spins, side spin, you don't want that, okay? So watch me, I'm not turning my wrist when I feed that ball, right? It's just gonna add too much spin. What I need to do is I need to make sure that I'm in like continental grip, my strings are facing forward when I feed, right? So I'm gonna feed the Justin, and again, I just don't want to move my wrist, right? I wanna keep it firm, kind of like a handshake when I'm feeding, right? So I just wanna keep that racket very firm, and also I wanna finish forward, right? So when I'm done, I wanna finish with my racket forward. Notice again, I'm gonna finish with my racket forward, okay? Wherever I finish with my racket, my feed's gonna go. So if I wanna feed to his forehand, I'm gonna point the racket over there. If I wanna feed to his backhand, I'm going to point the racket over there. Again, what I'm not doing is I'm not turning my wrist. It's not a stroke, all right? Again, I wanna keep the racket firm, kinda like a handshake grip, and just point the racket to wherever I wanna feed it. Another tip that I want you guys to do is I always want you guys to make sure that you have like, I can't, I've tried multiple times, I can't fit four or five balls in my hand, but you wanna make sure that you have balls in your hand so you're not just keep on constantly going in the cart, right? So I don't wanna just get one ball out and feed another ball out and feed another ball out and feed. I wanna make sure that I have like two or three balls in my hand at all times. So I'm gonna feed one, then I'm gonna feed, here we are, number two and then three, and then I'm going to go in and get the same amount of balls, right? So I'm gonna do three more. One, two, don't hit my camera, Justin. And number three, and then again, I'm gonna go in and get two or three balls, and then feed again. One, two, and last one. Here we are, final one. Play it out. All right, good. So that's another tip, right? Because if you keep on going in and out of that ball cart, you're gonna mess up your shoulder, you're gonna get like shoulder pain. Also, make sure that your ball cart is a certain height. You don't want it to be too low. Another thing what many coaches I see have is that they have the ball cart way too high, so they gotta go in, lift it up, and then go down. If you do that like a thousand times a day, you're gonna hurt your shoulder. So make sure you get one of these adjustable ball carts. This is a Wilson ball cart. I put the link in the description. Uh, check it out, it's great, it's adjustable, you can move it to different heights, and you always can wheel it around as well, so I'd highly recommend it. Once again, I put a link to the description. Also put Justin's Instagram in the description as well, so feel free to check it out, all right? But again, just to review, you don't want spin, all right? You want continental grip, kind of like a handshake, and you want to go forward with your strength. So you want to point your racket to wherever you want to hit it, right? Again, you don't want to be moving your wrist just get two, three balls at once. And again, you're gonna show the strings firm and forward. Let's do last two and last one. Play it out. All right, ah, oh, man, okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You guys are now knowing how to feed. Guys, if you guys have any questions or comments below, please let me know in the comments below. Have a good one and happy hitting.